てんてんてんてんてんてんてんてんてんてんてんてんてんてんてんてんてんてんてんてんてんてんてんSo I'm strolling around here on uh, Twitter, and uh, I've got this thing I'm doing, which is going to conversations where people are talking about Sam Harris, and then sending them, sending them what? Well, basically I'll go to, I want to come back to this actually, this is very interesting, this is the reason I'm making this movie, what, what he says here, he's actually got me thinking now, my dear viewer, and that's exactly the purpose of my whole enterprise with regards to engaging my atheist fellow human beings around questions of morality and God and religion, theology and so forth. Now, I'll go and I'll be like answering Sam Harris. I'll send them to this video, which I'll show you in just a second. And I'll just joke saying, need more dislikes. And then I'll copy Sam on it. And uh, I haven't heard back from Sam. I've heard back from Richard Dawkins. Daniel Dennett actually follows me. And uh, Richard Dawkins, by the way, he replied and mistakenly, he thought I was agreeing with him. But he doesn't generally engage his detractors. But he, he's awesome in the sense that his followers do. <laughs> and uh, the thing is, atheists are actually very intelligent, I've found. Way more intelligent than me for the most part. So I'm learning lots of good, good stuff. And you know what? Here's the thing. As a believing person... I'm going out there in order to rectify my belief system. If I'm wrong and if I'm out to lunch, then obviously I want to know about it. Why would I want to die being in love with some girl who doesn't love me back with the false thought that she might or that she does? I'm a guy who would rather know the truth. I'd rather not live in a life of illusion and then be happy. It's like the guy in the Matrix, right? The guy in the Matrix is like... Um, you know, basically, he's like, I don't care if it's if it's an illusion. It tastes great. So I have this this thingy where I'm talking about, you know, Sam Harris, essentially. Uh, poetry is, is the bomb, and who do poetry? You know, just like you can't really make the make the gist get the gist of it, but um, proving God's existence, answering Sam Harris, and for some reason, this is trending in my little world. This is trending, like it's shot up to like seventy seven views, and it's like. Something in it is, 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 you know, keying into some sensibility somewhere. So, so I thought I'd get on Twitter and like promote it a bit more. Now, um, do I believe in God? Of course. Do I believe in Islam? Of course. Are there millions and billions of things that these people have not even heard of ever? Of course. I see. I've got a notification already. I just sent out like five or ten of these, and like someone's probably going to say something really nasty to me. That's because the thing is, for the most part, atheists are. Oh, somebody followed me. Wow, one of the ladies that I sent this to followed me. All right, so whatever. You win some, you lose some. I wanted to have a discussion. When you want to have a a nice discussion, then you end up uh, getting followed. And when you want to get when you want to get followed, you end up having a a nice or not so nice discussion. Where can I put this damn camera while I talk a bit? I mean, I want to talk about something that Mr. Harris said. I, I can I can quote it to you, my dear viewer. I don't need to. Uh, I don't need to. Uh, I don't need to. Uh, you know, I I I don't need to read it. Um, so so basically, it goes something like this. So he's like. Um, it's very, it's it's actually very good what he says, and it does it requires it doesn't just deserve, but it, in fact it requires a response, you know. So for example, I have uh, two two lines of of inquiry in terms of atheism that I'm pursuing. First of all, going after these guys, the big guys, da Daniel Dennett, I have no problem with whatsoever. He follows me. Why the hell would I say anything about him? I'm one of 32 people in the world. He follows. I don't know why he follows me. My atheist buddy is like, why is he following you? I'm like, and the guy's like, my friend is like, Dennis, he's like, well, uh, he, he has 32 viewers and he's got 32 followers and you're one of them. I didn't realize that was the case. He follows me, I follow him, right? But um, it turns out that, uh, you know, something about something about, I, I don't know. The answer is, why is he following me? I don't know. 
but there must be some reason. You know, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Maybe he knows the, the, the Dawkins, and maybe he read my book. Maybe he read my manuscript about uh, my, my about uh, you know the existence of God. Like I have a book called. Um, the No God Delusion. Well, Richard Dawkins wrote The God Delusion and I wrote The No God Delusion. So, so basically, um, so that's what it is, dear viewer. And, um, you know, at the end of the day, uh, wh why he follows me is not important. The fact that he follows me is not really important either. Hmm. What's important is that I read his stuff. I went and, not his books. I know what he's saying, and he's saying much of the same things other atheists saying. But he, I, I read his tweets, I went into his profile, I, I explored in it, and I found nothing but goodness. He really is a, a person who seems to be an ardent seeker of the truth, okay? It seems like he really does apply himself uh, to thinking through things that other people just choose to take for granted. Like, for example, as a believer, you know, most, most believers take the existence of God for granted, right? Like God exists, and uh, they never they never go into like like the way I am, hmm, the way I am forced to, because I'm not the kind of person who's going to basically um, just sit around and someone's making fun of my faith and I don't do something about it. But what I do about it is not fight. What I do about it is question: Is the guy right? What's the guy saying? Does he have a good point? Does he have a point at all? You know, what, what, what's going on here? What's he saying? And what, in my position, does he hold to be untenable? U-N-T-E-N-A-T-E-N-N-A-B-L-E. -E -N -N As in, you believe something and it's not quite correct. So what part of that is wrong, right? So, for instance, they say you can condition yourself to be successful based on what you believe about yourself and the world and people and everything. If you believe the right things about nutrition and understand those things, you'll become automatically, you'll start eating better. If you understand the right things about physiology and the way the body works, you'll become fitter and all these things and they start coming together and it's all about knowledge, right? So, Daniel Dennett, I have no problem with. Sam Harris, big fucking problem. I used to like and adore the man. I used to think he was enlightened. Really nice guy. But uh, he's got a personal vendetta against Islam, and that makes it that that basically makes it's like the guy says, "Well, if you got a personal vendetta about him, then it, oh no, wait, hold on, it's like this guy. What's his name? <laughs> this guy right up here, Samuel Jackson in Pulp Fiction. He's like, well, my girlfriend's vegetarian. That pretty much makes me vegetarian. <laughs> you think I'm a bad? That's what everybody think. I'm a bad guy." <laughs> You gotta love this stuff. Like, I mean, this is one of the things I just like, uh, you know, so I'm going after atheists, and then I also have this line about just proving the existence of God independently of all those, I was gonna say bozos, and so I will say bozos. Anyhow, atheists are not bozos, but people who are given some factual proof and logic and rationale, and then they turn around and just continue doing what they're doing, those guys are bozos. And that's putting it lightly, they're way worse than bozos. Trust me on that. So, where are we and what are we doing? Well, I'm here smoking a cigarette. It's a fine day in Calgary, as you can see. It's all good in the neighborhood. I had police down there yesterday. And I, uh, I made a movie called Cops. It's on my channel if you're interested. Like, these guys had assault rifles. It was a real deal. Obviously, in my world, nothing is ever uh, just uh, normal, right? You, you'll be like, man, that's because you're not normal. Well, you know what? You're not normal to me either, buddy. Why are you watching me if, if you think I'm such an idiot? Okay? You think I care? Just make sure this is on, dear viewer. Okay, yes, it's on. All right. Hopefully, you can see me. Oh, how about this? There we go. That's better. All right, I'm going to be very quick about this and try and get through a number of points very quickly. So, existence of God... I have a whole playlist with about 13, 14, 15 uh, vignettes or moignettes or videos or clips or whatever, tubes, call them what you will. They're about 15 minutes in length average. They go anywhere from 15 to 20 to 30 minutes long, something like that. Most of them are about 15 minutes. I try to cut it off at the 15 minute mark, trained as, as is by Google, who obviously, uh, as YouTube owners, they've set that limit, and it makes sense. I can actually, they allow me to upload uh, movies as long as I like, I guess. 
but I generally try and stick to the 15 minute mark because I mean I don't want to be using up terabytes of data and it's like nobody even watches these damn things I'm just hoping that God Azza wa Jal um, you know basically uh, accepts my endeavor like I'm putting it out there and if there's someone who's meant to find it and benefit from it they'll benefit from it so my three questions to Sam Harris or my answers to Sam Harris are how can you have my question main question to him nowadays is how can you have spirituality without a um, without under how can you have spirituality without believing in spirit don't you understand how stupid that is spirituality and then you've got spirit and how can you reconcile spirit with science right and then at the end of the day leave Islam alone all right you're you're saying it totally backwards mr. Harris you're saying well uh, you know Muslims are good Islam is bad no Islam is good Muslims are bad that's it that's the thing trust me and he'll be like oh no if you become a Muslim and you revert back to uh, your previous faith or you renounce Islam you're, you'll be killed you know what no you won't be a normal Muslim is not allowed to do that. Holy Prophet has the power to do that. Okay? So go away with that stuff. It's just like jihad. Normal Muslims not allowed to do nothing physical to anybody else except in retaliation or in defense of his life and property. You understand? For sure, there is this um, general concept that if Islam is in danger, then Muslims should be mobilized. But no one can give the call to let's, of let's go to war. Because nobody knows what's what. Islam in danger. Muslims are the ones who put Islam in danger the most by not following it properly. Anyway, so last but not least, uh, you know, religion and science. Your so-called science is just a bunch of nonsense. And you, if you're a scientist, you'll admit to what I'm saying. It's just a bunch of uh, hypotheses. It's all hypotheses. No one in science can say nothing about nothing except phenomenological things. Like, for instance, if I take my passport and I drop it, I know it's going to fall down. That's, that's all I can say about this. As for this material, like let's, let's just look at the, 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 the cover of, 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 of the actual the passport holder. Uh, don't look at that sticker. Okay, you're not meant to be looking at this right now. Saul's poutine might be the best poutine going, and it might kick New York fries down the road with a Charlie Hebdo style kung fu kick, but it's not going to be the case in in this video right we're going to keep it on an equal footing where atheists and non-believers alike can get sludged by their own decrepit and impervious minds and mentalities um where was this cover made who put who exactly was the person who put the stitches in here and what was going through his mind when he put those stitches in there do you understand what I'm trying to prove is that you don't know anything about this thing all you know you see some outward forms and you know that it behaves in a certain way based on the laws of physics but as for who came up with this insignia you know like different like what about the molecules of this thing like we don't know nothing about nothing it's all descriptions right so basically like when a scientist comes along and he's like well you know I'm the I'm the king of the jungle and uh, you know my mind I'm so intelligent that you know if I don't understand it then it's just not not re not real and then Sam Harris will say things like uh, well uh, you know religion is just meant to fill the opaque things in, in what we don't know that's a classic atheist Sam Harris all he does is he takes what everyone is saying and he's just an eloquent guy and he's just putting some nice sugar coating on it I wanted to talk about something else but it's turned into another Sam Harris spiel because buddy doesn't want to let up man and you know I tw I tweeted him and he must have seen my my video I sent it to him and I've sent it to some other people I sent it to this lady and she followed me immediately you know so whatever right um, he ha he brings up a good point though okay and that's what I wanted to address today his question was or his statement is that if you think out loud on certain things, you'll be killed. He's actually right, absolutely. There's no question about it. And it's not just in the Islamic world, though. That's my whole point. If you go to Germany and if you go to certain places and you say something like Hitler is a fucking fag, then you'll be killed because you'll be surrounded by neo-Nazis and they're all getting drunk and suddenly you burp out this shit. Um, or if you go to, let's say... Um, certain villages in Pakistan apparently if you fart you can get killed because they are so offended by it so then the question really becomes on what basis are you allowed to kill someone right you know like if you look at it 
you shouldn't kill anyone apart from if they're about to kill you. And in fact, about to is not really good enough. If somebody is trying to kill you, then you can attack them and use lethal force, right? It's called force plus one. If somebody shoves you, you can shove them back. And, and you go at it, you, you, you use the... So he started it, so you're allowed to use force plus one, right? Because he did the plus one to begin with. So the plus one would end up in the guy being killed, right? But you're doing it to defend yourself. Or, as a society, if someone kills someone, or someone rapes someone, or is, does some heinous crime along those lines, I think a lot of people uh, will, will agree that they should be punished severely and even killed. Apart from that, there's obviously, once again, it's, we're just going in circles again. It's like, religion doesn't mandate this thing. And if religious people say they do, it does, they're not religious. They're actually wrong. So, Mr. Sam Harris, you've ruined my clip. I wanted to talk about something meaningful, and I've ended up ranting and raving. And I'm going to put this online and torment you some more, and see how that goes. <laughs> Until next time, Sam. <laughs> I'm just being stupid, man. You're a good guy. I wish I was even a fraction uh, as successful as you, mate, all right? So keep it up, and, uh, you know, as long as you're seeking the truth, it's all good, okay? What are you looking at?